dinner time. Mom was still sleeping. All right, Liddy, you've got so, you've got peanut butter and a light. Because Minnie, she like really goes under this bed because like I think dogs they like to be in like dark places when they're yeah. just, at the moment she's under this bed. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of peanut butter on my finger and she'll come. Okay, Fly, put the light down there so we can see. I can hear her. Minnie dog. She can sniff the peanut butter. <gasps> Minnie. Oh. oh. Give her oh, some more okay. so she could come out. Oh. Okay, grab her. I know. Honey, you gotta stop hiding on the bed. Okay. We gotta watch you. Oh, well, I know it's her instinct to hide under there. Dogs That's like it. to be in dark places when they're. Yeah, when they're about to give birth. Let's go check her temperature again. I don't wanna do much. I don't wanna poke yeah. it. There's a bubble and it's like halfway out, but if she wants to keep looking. Yeah. I'm going to let her keep looking as much as she wants to because until once she gets that urge, yeah. it pushes on her. Yeah. She's kind of a licker, so she'll probably yeah. spend a lot of time. Yeah, she will. All right. So we're at the vet's office because Minnie uh, was starting to push like a long time ago. A few hours. Well, she, she started to go into labor a few hours ago. She started to push an hour ago and it just nothing was coming out so and they were saying and, and we already know that they should only have to push for at least 20 minutes before a puppy comes out right so what's cool though is that we have our vet like within a mile of us so we zoomed on down here and now minnie is back getting a c-section we, we wouldn't normally get a c-section but we figured out here that it's actually pretty cheap for a c-section yeah so we have a really great set. vet so, so um so yeah it'll be it'll be fine and they're gonna hopefully save both puppies and minnie won't have to keep pushing and be in distress and we as far as lydia's breeding program goes probably will retire Minnie yeah. and not have her, we're gonna probably spay her while they're doing the C-section just because mm -hmm. like, you know, you kind of might as well, if they, if they have problems delivering, you don't want this to happen, like say on a weekend in the middle of the night. That's yeah. worse. So yeah, so that's what we're doing. Now we've just gotta wait for them to be done with the C-section. Except there's too many cats in this Too office. many cat pictures in here. I like cats. All right, you guys, this is what we have. You ready? Two little puppies. Can you see them? Can you see them? We've got a little, well, a big old girl. And we've got a little boy. And we've got a really tired mini. Oh, poor mini. Oh my gosh. Brings back old memories. When we used to have puppies. Let's pick this one up since it's moving anyway. Hey. I'm not holding it very well. He probably needs to feel more. Yeah. There he is. Mm -hmm. Or she. It's a big puppy. Oh my gosh. Okay, put it back oh here. Let's goodness. keep him. So we're just keeping them all warm since Minnie's kind of cold from being, um, having the C-section and being under anesthesia. Just trying to, he said, to keep, keep this over them to kind of keep the heat in. And she's just wearing off the meds here. Just so tired. I'm sorry, sweetie. So we definitely had her spayed. <laughs> while they were doing the surgery and she did really well. Oh, crazy thing is they said that when they were prepping her for the surgery and then when they brought her in uh, and they were just about to do it, she went in, she delivered, like half delivered the first puppy and they had to like, they had to pull it out, it's crazy. And um, so that one didn't do very well for a while because it got smushed or whatever it was a really big puppy and then they did the c-section for the other one it's nuts but we're thinking everybody's okay now and we're just gonna stay up all night watching her and 
that was the event of our day. Crazy, right?